And that's that's basically what 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 we are currently doing is that we we are not only entering a country uh, that has available skill space, but that has potential for available skill space, and then we kind of uh, mold that uh, skill space according to our expectations, and and at the same time are able then to uh, define positive surprises. So and one, one example of the positive surprises is that when, when you enter a country uh, that doesn't have a significant university or university of technology as such, but you, you enter there and you open a small R&D hub together with your sales and marketing offices, and suddenly you realize that, that there, there, there are a lot of uh, good ideas and a lot of entrepreneurial people in that area, and you, you start kind of a slowly expanding your operations there. So it doesn't al always require that, that you have to have a leading university uh, next to your own uh, operations. It helps to have a good educational uh, facility there, because then, then you already know that there are resources in place, uh, but uh, that's, that's not kind of, a, not anymore, it's not, not the, the necessity. And, and the reason why it's not the necessity or the requirement is that the way how ICT industry currently functions. Uh, it, it's something that we we kind of say it's the second unbundling of the uh, the manufacturing or the business operations, which basically means that you, you, you now have uh, ability to, to work in a small scale environments. You, you're able to do much more rapid innovation uh, together in these kind of a small uh, units.